previously on Preps. Cal love to look good. This front piece right here pisses me off every day. So it never goes up like I want it to. So I always end up spending more time on that piece alone than I do my whole head. And the boys from New Trail love to give him a hard time. Oh, we're doing our hair. John, aren't you glad we watched that prep show? Oh, on Kyle Kleckner? Yes. I want to do my hair just like him. It's looking pretty good, huh? Thanks. No, yeah. no, here, fix it like yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, and it's more like, like, first hopped up. Let's prep. Uh, uh, come on, come on. Uh, uh, In Chicago, high school basketball is more than just a game. It's a dream that starts on the playground. Where you can carve a path to glory. Hundreds hope, few make it. These are their stories. I'm Eddie Curry, 6'11, 290 pound center, Thornwood Thunderbirds. My name's Kyle Kleckner, 6'185 pound shooting guard from Downers Grove North High School. I'm Sean Doctor, I play for Junior High School. Point guard, I'm a junior. I'm 18 years old. The Preps of Chicago Hoops. Hello, my name is Theodore II. I'm a polo player, and I have a well-diversified portfolio. Hello, my name is Staunton. Not only am I the president of the school, <laughs> I happen to drive three high-class vehicles. My name is Hugh. I play polo and tennis. Hello, my name's Chad. Um, I work at Rocco and Rocco. I do hair for a living and I like to give hugs. So let's give our high school a quick cheer. One, two, three. New, New cheer! Enough fooling around, boys. It's game time. It's like the Cubs and the White Sox. It's the Crosstown Classic. Well, there's always a Crosstown rivalry in Downers Grove. Uh, always North versus South. It's always a good game. And there's definitely rivalry between North and South. Tip time, y'all. Let the Civil War begin. Few minutes in, and down the snow have already dominated. Ooh, watch your tail, Buttercup. South made it close with some good jump shoots. But North pulled away. All smiles for them. Time for some post-game eats with the chili. A big bite. Oh, oh. This is Kyle Kleckner's dating service. I'm kind of running this chain throughout America, trying to hook some good looking uh, women up with potential dates. Are you currently with anyone right now? Currently, yes. <laughs> I was just joking. I'm sorry. I was just messing with you. I'm sorry. No, I'm not single. You aren't single? No. First, I had devil horns. Then I was at him fighting. Then they were kissing. Nah. You're currently single? You have a man in mind at DGN that you want to kind of want to hook up with? I heard about the hound dog. Single or what? What's your status? Single? Really? Are there any guys that you really have your eye out for or what? Anyway, <laughs> she's embarrassing me now. You can't come to the phone right now. Can I take a message? Danielle, okay, I'm bad. The old girlfriend. <laughs> I was in love once. Um, I want to say since eighth, in seventh and eighth grade, I had a best friend. Her name is Danielle, and I was together with her for about four years. Kyle was my first love and the first guy I like actually was like serious with. Overall, he was like the sweetest guy, and like I couldn't imagine like being without him. She, she's really opened me up to a lot of different things that I didn't really think I'd understand at this time in my life, and I really credit her a lot for that. 
it's just so like awkward and I feel so bad for like everything that I've done to him but people make mistakes and they do things at times that they wish they hadn't or you wish they wouldn't have done that I started liking his best friend I mean we just get in so many stupid fights and jealousy would always play in he always like hugged girls and stuff like that but I think it's become a lot more like but it's it's different now. It's like a different hug. I, I don't know. Like kiss on the cheek too. And We're not together anymore. Is bottom line. That was a decision. I well, I mean, we both made it, but I kind of made it clear. I, I don't know. So at the beginning of the year, we moved into a locker together. Yeah, we still share a locker. I want to say for about we broke up. I couldn't even tell you when we broke up, but for about three or four weeks, I mean, we didn't even say a word to each other. Kind of like we could go the whole day and we wouldn't even look at each other, even though we shared a locker. Or now I just recently kind of got together with this sophomore. Her name's Lindsay, and uh, we're ha things are going pretty well between us. I mean, we're just starting our new relationship, so I'm just kind of looking forward to what happens in the future. And she's a great girl. Everyone's like, "Oh my gosh, Lindsay looks so much like you," and everything like that, but. I don't see it as much as everyone else, I guess. I, I guess blonde hair, like, that's Kyle's thing though. <laughs> he likes, likes blondes. This is my way of asking Kyle to turn about. It's basically on a big dry erase board. To the stud with the jersey 2-5, you really catch my eye. For me, you are the guy. And in my mind, there is no doubt that I wanted to ask you to turn about. Love the one and only six. I'm six. It's. It's sort of an inside joke because for football he's number six and I basically tell him that I'm the best six, so kind of a little inside joke. I did his turnaround thing. Did you ask him? Did you get it? Not yet. He's going to see the after the game. Um, something for one of my friends that I'm going to ask to turn about. And I, like every day I borrow his health book. Actually, I think I learned it, I don't know. And I just put post it notes in it. And so I'm going to, I cut letters out and I'm going to put them on post it notes and put it in his health book tomorrow. It's like there's going to be seven of them and it's just going to say, like, Will you go to turn about with me? Take a picture of them? Actually, I do. Okay. <laughs> This is us, and this is from the homecoming assembly because he was like nominated for our class, and then I was there. <laughs> Does he know that you're gonna ask him? I don't know. These are just random pic like pictures of friends. Um, these, like, I've, I don't ever get ready in here, so I don't need my mirrors, because I get ready in the bathroom. So these, my friend Janelle and I take from Fridays every time we go. Oh, Janelle, <laughs> every Friday. <laughs> my little sister. <laughs> I'm going to practice. Oh, <laughs> Seriously, I'm going to practice. <laughs> you know, alright, back to your room, psycho. <laughs> alright, who cares? <laughs> I think it's like good for him that he's like awesome in sports and stuff like that because he is and it'll like take him a lot of places. But for me, it's kind of like I'm expected to do the same things like like I'm expected to like play basketball and be like 
just as good as it as Kyle is. I would not want Kyle for a brother. Uh, he, uh, he gets pretty crazy at home. Hip hop, 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 hip Gotta mess your hair up with you. <laughs> oh, Why are you so round? Hair up. Shut up. You I want to look good. Is someone all excited that they're going to U of I? Anyway. Anyways, settle. <laughs> And it's awesome that he's like going on a full ride scholarship for football and you know when people ask where he's going, it's like, oh are you going for basketball or baseball or football? Like it's cool that he has so many like options and he's so good at everything. I really think it's been hard on my sister with me getting so much attention this year because just her being the baby and the family and stuff. Okay. Um, I went tanning last night and we left Anna's mom picked us up at like eight and then we went, me, Anna and Allie. And then like my brother came to pick us up and it was like, no, it was like really bad out. Did you drive last night? Yeah, you couldn't yeah. Have, like two feet in front of you. Yeah. Oh, I can't find my ball. <laughs> uh, which one? This is literally out of control. It's actually really funny, like going to class with them, but it's cool because he's in Ceramics 3 and I'm in Ceramics 1, but everyone's together and you just kind of work on your projects independently. I think that's why my path's so uneven because it's like lower. <coughs> no, I'm so bad. <laughs> and um, he's like, oh, that's so ugly. I can't believe you made it. And like today, he, like, he's like, you just need to start over. <laughs> Where are you going to go with this afterwards? Well, it's going in like this. Yeah. Off like this? Oh, hi. Right <laughs> Approximately two feet. Okay. You're going to put it out the top? Yeah. How, how straight up? When you get up to here, are you going to go straight or are you going to go curved? What are you going to do? I'm going to go straight out. Okay. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask. What are you to ask? It's not bad. The one thing I do have to give her, though, is no matter what I do in athletics, she always has me in the book smart. I want to say she has a 4.20 on a 4.0 scale. My mom tries to calm down things. It actually, I get on her about it a lot because I wish she could come to more of my sports. And she's like, well, varsity sports are, take precedence, da da da. Um, my dad, it's like even harder for him to come to things than my mom because even if the game, like my game's at home, like my game's away and their game's at home. It's like they have to be there early to start warm up so he can't get there right when the game starts. He tries. It's too early. Okay. We have one, two, three. <laughs> I haven't like gotten anything yet, but I think this is cool that like everyone's here this morning. It was really surprising. What? Actually, she got mad at me because we were late. <laughs> but Janelle called and said the girls weren't all here, so I needed to stall. I just gave my mom money and told her to get her some. I think maybe some sandals that you wanted, but I'm not sure. I feel very good. Excited for Kelly's 16th birthday and uh, looking forward to a good day in school and then uh, a nice day or a nice weekend of basketball games. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kelly. Happy birthday to you. Happy sweet 16. Come on, everybody. Yeah. Happy healthy, many more. I have my bowl of Wheaties. Kelly's first choice was already taken, but she's going to the dance anyway. Time to get ready, girl. I think I have a nail plate with that. Yeah. I was like, pictures aren't until 6, 
I was like, I'm getting ready for seven hours. <laughs> you had it done, Kelly, was it curled at all or was it more straight, the pieces? I think my hair is going. <laughs> Another thing to do today. Um, I'm getting my hair done right now. Yeah. You shouldn't be good at that. Yeah. Oh, it's not like a super finished, you know, do. What other challenges, Kelly? <laughs> Thick, doesn't hold a curl. And this helps take out any frizzies. It helps smooth curly hair, too. Yeah, one of my friends and I are figuring out how much turnabout was going to cost all together. It was like, we are at like 450 yeah. While Kelly's been getting her hair done, back at the Kleckner home, Cal's been doing nothing. Just chilling and waiting to throw on his suit. Life just ain't fair, ladies. Today, uh, well, we got up kind of late because we didn't have practice early, so I whooped Timmy's butt in PlayStation 2, beat him 35-19, that was kind of cool. Then we just headed out to the mall and kind of just hung out. Nothing big. Where are you going, Ma? To picture Kyle. It's a zoo around here. I need a purse. My sister doesn't want me to get hair all over her stuff. It's right here, just like connecting and put it on my shoulders and then fill in that one, I guess. Oh yeah, ditch me. Yeah, yeah, it's only my second to last high school dance ever, whatever. How do I brush my teeth? Well, I have rollers. I made it to every single one of your dances and pictures. Actually, I don't really care because Kelly loves this stuff and I could really care less. They're not doing very good. Mom, don't laugh. Don't make me think you're doing bad. Well, I'll be there, Mom. Kelly, let's go. Should I just dump my purse, Mom? All right. Did you get really embarrassed at that time? No. I need gum. Where's my purse? I think we have a little ice. Oh, one's my God. hyper. One's nervous. I'm not nervous. Yes, I am doing my hair, thank you. And for all you people at Hinsdale Central and New Trier, I happen to like my hair. Today, Timmy and I, we did a little tanning. And yes, I feel rather burnt, but hey, it's all right. I had fun, I kind of felt weird. I thought someone was watching me the whole time. I was like, whoa. <laughs> and I have to admit, I'm a little nervous about tonight. Because this is the first dance I've gone to in a long, long time to be specific, about two and a half years without Danielle. So I don't know, it's gonna be a little weird, but I know Lindsay, she's a lot of fun and we'll have a good time, so. I'm ready to go. I don't know how to do it. Well, all right, squeeze your hand in there. Is that even the right way? Before you hit the dance at Downers Grove, you got to get your picture taken for like an hour. For real. Yo, I'm getting stressed. Time to head off to the dance for some fun. Everyone looks so nice. Hey, Linz, I found our name. Hi. Here, let's take it. I get to keep it, right? Of course. I want it. I want it. Hey, what's going? I'm not, I'm not waiting for it. Crazy.
kids are bumping. All up in the gym. Good times, y'all. Perfect time. Let it ride. Let it ride. Yo, this is a tight party. If you a teenager in Downers Grove, you either here or at home watching the rerun of Preps. All right, we had a good time. We're about ready. We're going to go. We're going to go check that booty out. No, no. No, I'm just joking. We're going to go do a little bit more dancing. Check we some just say we had a great time with you guys. I'm going to try to find my date if that's at all possible. We'll hopefully see you along with this date in the future. We'll see you later. Later. Bye. To the stud with the jersey 2-5, you really catch my eye. For me, you are the guy. And in my mind, there is no doubt that I wanted to ask you to turn about. I'm the king of the uh, we would just like to say that we're totally just messing around and that we don't have a problem with the guys from New Jersey. We just thought it would be funny since weird that they poked a little fun at my hair scene, which I have received many comments about it. I really don't mind to tell you the truth, though. And we just thought it would be kind of funny, you know, little poke to us, little poke to you guys. So, uh, <laughs> Uh, hi, how you doing up there? Yeah, that's all we have to say. Hugs to everyone. Hugs to everyone. Big hug mug. We got mad game for real.